Kasi ang naging objection nila kasi parati naman sila binibigyan ng pera ng magulang nila or ng asawa or partner nila. Ba- bakit pa sila magne-networking or uh, magbebent or magbebenta? Why should they um, para kay pa kung sasali pa sila sa sales team or network marketing team mo? Kung binibigyan naman sila ng pera. Welcome Money and Life Movement, JG Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel. And it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now, uh, I came up with this, uh, I came across this blog post of mine, which uh, which is entitled, <laughs> okay. Why Personal Branding in Network Marketing Matters. Okay. This was the very first uh, blog post that I have that I've written after I decided to uh, decided to build my own personal brand, right? And uh, it's slowly paying off after a year. Well, you got you you got a grind, okay? okay? If you're building a personal brand yourself, you know what I mean when I say you you gotta you gotta work it, you gotta grind. Okay? <clears throat> I'm I grew tired of being generic at that point. Okay, having your own personal brand. Is, uh, is advantageous to you as a network marketer. Okay? You don't have to rely on the company name, the company's background, not even the products or compensation plan. Right? People will approach you and only you. Not the company, not, the, uh, not anything else. Sounds good? It does. Well, kasi, bilo nyo, Kung nag-networking kayo, okay, you're completely reliant on uh, the company, on the company and, and everything it stands for. Okay, panay ang pitch nyo ng company name. Alam nyo ba kung sino talo doon? Kayo. Right? You're the one who's losing, not the company. Kasi may mga prospects na, well, uh, I don't want to... I don't want to mention oh, uh, di, ko, di, di ko sila lalahatin pero there are some prospects na kapag narinig na yung business offer mag excuse muna ng I'll think about it pero di diretso na sa company yun nangyari na sa akin yun alright it happened to me I think twice or three times already na dumiretso sa company why? kasi Ang una nyo, ang una nyo ipinakita ay ang pangalan ng kumpanya nyo. Not your own name. Not your own status as a network marketer. See? <clears throat> the prospect has proven that you're just an amateur. That you're just another generic network marketer. Right? Head on over to my blog post. Link in the description. So that you can uh, get an idea of what I am, what I am actually talking about. I'm uh, giving you a fast-forward interpretation of that blog post because up to now, relevant parin. It is freaking relevant up to now. If you don't have a personal brand, you might as well be. You might as well go back to your day job. All right. And another thing. And another thing, if you have your own personal brand, right, probably network marketing companies will come to you to avail of your uh, your skills, your expertise in in the field, in the profession. Who knows? Uso ngayon ng influencer marketing. Actually, influencer marketing is now uh, well is uh, is the trend nowadays, not network marketing. So probably, so I am. I'm getting a very good picture as to where network marketing companies will now go to to promote their products, service or services or compensation plan. They will turn to the influencers. And influencers have their own personal brand. So, you might as well start your own. I'm not guaranteeing you. I'm not guaranteeing uh, all of you that building a personal brand is easy. Right? 
But if you put the work in, like me, okay, I've been building my my own personal brand for more than a year now. Okay. If you start building it now, right? The moment you see this video, the moment you uh, oh, the moment you see this video and you start building your own personal brand, madaline. <clears throat> Sooner or later, may magtatanong sa inyo, ano ba ang talagang negosyo nyo? That's when you explain it. That's when you explain the company. For your own brand's sakes, don't mention the company. Don't mention the company's name. Just your own, just your own, uh, just your own brand. Okay? Just your own brand. Because, well, you're not just a personal brand to... To, to most prospects you're presenting yourself as a separate business entity you're conducting your never marketing business to the utmost professionalism kaya ka meron ka sariling personal brand so remember that all right again link to that blog post in the description below so hit that link para mabasa niyo na <clears throat> nakakagutong <laughs> I got my I got my I got my lunch here. All right. So, on to the objection of the week. Okay. I just received this from the courier. Yay, not out. From Little Warrior ito. Ay, I to test natin ngayon. The test ko sa mismo ng unan ko. Bango. Bango. Okay, sir. All right, guys. Here's my call to action for this episode. Now, you, you only have Feb until the last day of February. Ane. Until February 14, 2020, to submit your proposed topics for episode 45. You heard it from me. You heard it from me, right? I will let you guys decide what to talk about on episode 45, right? Because I want to end, I want to end Random Thoughts free with a bang, all right? And there's no other way to do that than to let the people decide, to let the viewers decide, to let the fans decide, all right? So, making a date, February 14, 2020, Deadline for submission of proposed topics for episode 45. All right? Sponsors are done. On to the objection of the week. <clears throat> now, you would normally hear this kind of objection from students, from, well, uh, should we say, Fresh graduates who who really don't want to look for a job right now at gusto nang tumambay sa bahay. Yung mga tinatawag na PMA, pahinga muna anak. Right? You would hear this. You would hear this uh, objection really often. Okay. I think you would probably hear this objection from only them. Okay? It's an it's an it's an objection exclusive to them. You know what the objection is? <clears throat> My parents give me money anyway. Veteran networkers and home entrepreneurs sounds familiar. It is. Okay. Now, this objection can, all, can also be used by, um, by housewives, house husbands who, yeah, who are too sold on the fact that, they're, that their spouses are giving them money. Yeah. Uh, my 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 spouse gives me money anyway. Re rephrase ko lang. Okay. <clears throat> Again. Tip number one: Do not go into justification mode. Okay? Tip number two. Uh, step two, pala. Sorry. Step one 
is do not go into justification mode. Step two is, well, here's my suggested rebuttal. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, kung may asawa, uh, sir or mom, or kung siyante, kid, what's it gonna take for us to go forward on my offer? Again, the what's it gonna take close. <clears throat> It's not a vague It's not a vague rebuttal, right? You're giving the prospects the uh, the big specific. Okay? What's it gonna take for them to move forward in your offer or your or your business offer or whatever? Kasi ang naging objection nila kasi parati naman sila binibigyan ng pera ng magulang nila or ng asawa or partner nila. Ba bakit pa sila magne-networking or uh, Magbebent or magbebenta. Why should they... Um, para kita kung sasali pa sila sa sales team or network marketing team mo. Kung binibigyan naman sila ng pera. Tell them. Uh, ask them. What's it going to take? What's it going to take for them to move? What's it going to take for them to accept your offer? Mimo! Wala ko sama doon. You are actually leveling with your prospect. You're being honest with them. <clears throat> if, you're in the, if you're into network marketing, you know very well. Network marketing is a business based solely on trust. Right? Sa mga veteran, sa mga veterano dyan, you know this very well. How can you how can you build trust if you're not going to let the prospect explain? Kaya nga tayo considered as consultants, all right? Kaya tayo considered as advisors. You have to let the prospect speak. Let them talk. Do not justify. Kaya nga, kaya for me The what's it gonna take close is probably the most effective close right now. In this day and age. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> Tama mila <and> honey. <laughs> In this day and age, trust is at a premium. Okay. Sa dami ng fake news, sa dami ng mga... Sa dami naman nang i-scam dyan. Alright? <clears throat> network marketing is on a teeter-totter right now. Okay, I'm talking about network marketing. It's on a teeter-totter right now. Isang maling, isang maling kabig mo lang, lilipad na yung kabila. The other person is out of there. So, it's very important to establish trust Right from the get-go. Prospect pa lang yan. Establish mo ng tiwala. Okay? Again, <clears throat> if the prospect says, my parents give me money anyway, tell them what's it gonna take for them, what's it gonna take for both of you to move forward. And, I almost forgot, Ask them this question after they answer that one. How long will you ask for money? Kasi na common yung na common yung trust eh, with that uh, with that rebuttal. Eh. Whatever the answer is, ask them that final. It's kumbaga. It's a follow up follow up question. How long will you ask your will you ask your parents for money? Oh, we have to answer that. Pero may pauna ng tanong na mag-establish ng mag-establish ng tiwala or trust. You already you already gave them a question that that can that may establish trust between the both of you. Yeah, but what's it gonna take close? 
So you now have you now have that freedom to and to ask them that kind of a question. Because medyo may ano eh. <clears throat> Nasagot na niya yung tanong mo eh, yung unang tanong. So you're now beginning to level with that prospect. You begin you can begin to be to be honest with them with an honest question like that. Again, rebut with the I with the what's it gonna take close. Then do a follow-up question like nga, how long? How long are you going to ask for money? They will answer. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. If you found value in this episode, well, you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. You do all three, I may give you a shout out. I may give your comment, I may feature your comment in uh, the next available episode. I'll even feature your channel in the end screen. Is it a deal? Then, do those three things. Right? I want to give... Uh, <clears throat> I feel like I haven't been giving value to uh, to my uh, to my viewers, to viewers of this show. So the only way right now I can give value to them is by giving them a shout out in the next available episode. So well, you know, hiningiko, just do those three things again. Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment with done. You know what I mean, Igor. And I'll give you a shout out in the next available episode. I'll even feature your channel in the end screen. Sounds like a fair deal, now. It is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Just one in light movement. <laughs>